Hello, I'm Kristen Sims, and this is the Hawthorne Video Active Report. More than three in five Americans have a pet, according to a May 2011 Harris poll. It seems almost a no-brainer to capitalize on that market with e-commerce, but past online shopping pet supplies websites have proven unsuccessful. Two websites catering to pet owners seem to be turning the tables and have recently made their mark on the online shopping world. The makers of high-quality pet food, PetFlow.com, have caught the attention of venture capitalist firm Lightspeed Venture Partners. A recent $10 million backing proves they have some confidence in the company. On a different note, Quidzy, a subsidiary of Amazon.com, recently launched a pet product website, Wag.com. Now it's time to see if pet lovers will buy into this business too. See the first two top screens to check out the sites for yourself. Comedy usually wins when it comes to commercials, so it's no surprise that the funny commercials from T-Mobile and Dirt Devil were the brand winners of choice-based video campaigns for the second quarter of the year. Coming in first was the Royal Wedding Campaign from T-Mobile. Featured on Top Screen 4, this royal parody received 26.2 million views. Web analysis firm Visible Measures conducted the study to find out those brands that consumers actually choose to watch. The results? They chose to watch video ads 600 million times during the quarter, representing a 15% increase from last year. When it comes to raising awareness for a cause, an engaged audience is a must. National Geographic found one very effective way to engage an audience for their film, The Last Lions, was through mobile marketing. The film's goal was to raise awareness of the perils that lions face in the wild. See a preview on Top Screen 5. The campaign included an iPhone app that let users merge their personal photos with safari scenes from the movie and multiple mobile phone initiatives, from the chance to win a safari trip to Botswana to the chance to donate to the cause. The campaign drew in more than 250,000 visitors to its mobile site and is still bringing in returns from Facebook likes, phone numbers, and email addresses. Martha Stewart is raising some eyebrows with her new online TV series, Martha and Friends. The episodes are three minutes each and feature a childhood Martha participating in home and garden type activities with her cartoon friends. The web series is intended for children, not Martha's core audience at all. See Top Screen 6 and decide for yourself whether a 10-year-old will be inspired to strap on an apron and become Martha's biggest fan. For Hawthorne Direct, I'm Kristen Sims.